<laughs> uh, oh boy, I really hope there's nothing scary and incredibly intimidating behind me. Hmm. hmm. Must have been the wind. Ah! Minecraft is a scary game, and I'm tired of acting like it's not. Mojang knew what they were doing when they let creepers jump off ledges and ravines just to kill you. In today's video, I'll be going over how and why a sandbox block game should be redefined to the horror genre due to its history of scary mechanics, creepy lore, and enemies that quite literally scare the shit out of me. But before that, I gotta show you something absolutely terrifying. Ah! Oh, the horror of not being subscribed to the Zai YouTube channel! All jokes aside, I put a lot of time and effort into these videos, so if you can bestow me with a simple click of the subscribe button, it would mean the world. And for bonus points, you can join my Discord server! Here it is on screen, and it'll also be linked down in the description below. Enjoy the video! Picture this, it's 2012 and you just picked up this cool game called Minecraft. You spend late nights playing single player, mining and collecting resources for progressing into your world. And then... Ah! This game has got me one too many times with these stupid cave sounds, just for me to find out that it was fully coded to be this way. You see, when Minecraft was first released, the musicians behind all the tracks we know and love, C418 and Samuel Aberg, also single-handedly crafted some of the most disturbing sounds to exist. And Notch was like, okay, this will be perfect perfect for my silly little block game, and now every Minecraft player has PTSD. All ambient sounds in Minecraft have different ways to initiate. It's either a loop, a loop addition, or a mood. But the real kicker here is mood. It's an algorithm that works based on light level and the percentage of mood. Basically, if you stand in a dark cave long enough and your mood gets to 100%, it will play an ambient sound and will be set in a cooldown of 5 minutes till another sound can be played. So essentially what I'm saying is, when you're mining with no torches, you are likely to come back home with a constant shiver down your spine. There was no reason for why they were that eerie sounding, but I guess we can't complain because we were also accompanied by some of the most calming music ever created. But let's not forget the real real reason why mining in caves was so scary back in the day. Yeah, you see this whole removed Herobrine thing? It used to be on every big update log and was pretty convincing considering I had no reason not to believe that there was a ghost named Herobrine haunting my Minecraft world and trying to spook me out. Also, how were y'all scared of this guy named Herobrine? Like, what kind of name is that? Why wasn't his name like a super scary, totally real ghost that will haunt you in your Minecraft world? or something. Besides, what's the worst that could happen? If he was in my Minecraft world, all I'd have to do is turn off my computer and I'd be totally fine. Ah! Herobrine was probably the oldest myth that Mojang has ever kept up. Only until the 1.16 update did they stop adding the removed Herobrine line to the update logs. And to be fair, that was kind of a big deal and really made a lot of people start talking about it again. Although in 1.16.2, they decided to slide it back into the change logs once again for completely unknown reasons. Hmm... Herobrine was scary and all with the random cross holes in my world, or the leafless forests, I'll give them that. But something that was a real terror in Minecraft. A legitimate piece of horror that the devs were just okay with. Disc 11. I remember finding this disc in the Xbox 360 tutorial world and putting it into a jukebox only to instantly regret my life choices. Now, there have been many theories about this disc regarding its meaning, purpose, and where it came from. For those who haven't heard the disc before, here it is. I didn't play all of it, but you get the idea. Mojang has confirmed nothing about what the horrifying disc contains, as it's been left as a complete mystery. There are a few videos out there that give a pretty good depiction of what it could be, but let's be honest, the devs are just trying to give us nightmares, and it worked. One thing that'll never cease to scare me is... Well, I'd have to show you. Oh boy, I love mining and crafting in my favorite video game called Minecraft. It's such a fun freaking game. I love it so much. Oh, how'd that torch get there? I don't remember placing that. Diamonds! Holy crap is holy! Let me mine all of these, and here we go. And oh my gosh, this is, this is a lot more diamonds than I thought. Why am I not getting the other- Ah! Yeah, let's just say I don't like sea temples. Seriously though, these things look so freaky. It's a fishbowl with huge spikes coming out of it. It doesn't sound scary now, but I bet if these things were real, you'd be freaking out too. Here, let me draw a depiction for you. The eye right here, couple spikes right there, color it in a bit, and done. Now if that isn't scary, I don't know what is. Speaking of freaky looking creatures, I hate to hold a grudge, but if you voted for the phantoms to be in the game, your mom's a ho- Seriously, these things are horrifying in all reality. 
especially when you're thousands of blocks away from home and you can't make a bed. They just swoop down, take a chomp out of your hair, and repeat the process until you're bald! My worst nightmare. Their green glowing eyes and their incredibly hard to attack hitbox makes them just... Ugh, not my cup of tea. Hey, so remember when I was talking about cave ambience and how it's the scariest thing of all time? Yeah, well I lied. Some of the creepiest and horrifying sounds to ever come out of Minecraft is the ocean ambience from 1.13. It doesn't run on the same system as cave ambience. In fact, the sounds you hear are completely randomized, but there are some sounds that are more rare to hear than others. And the rarer it is, the more freakish it becomes. Which brings me to dark4.ogg. One of the rarest ocean sounds in Minecraft and quite possibly the most horrifying. After hearing that, cave sounds are now music to my ears. Mojang was really like, yeah, this will make them shit their pants, and just threw that sound into the mix. Something I want to briefly cover because we can't quite talk about Minecraft horror without including one of the many horror maps, Herobrine's Mansion. It was one of the most prominent horror maps and was created by none other than Hypixel himself. It was truly a treasure for scary Minecraft content back in 2012 because it was well made and terrifying for Minecraft players that were under the idea that Herobrine wasn't a myth. And for the time, it was a proper scary map with a thrilling story. But nowadays, you'd probably run into a couple game breaking glitches that would completely ruin the immersion. Minecraft is set to release a brand new mob alongside many new horrifying features to the game in the upcoming future. The 1.19 wild update was recently announced in this year's Minecraft Live and reintroduced a familiar face, the Warden. This creature was pushed back to the 1.19 update in order to release a fully polished product. And honestly, huge respect to Mojang for putting the work into developing a truly scary entity into the Minecraft universe. Alongside the Warden, we got some sneak peeks at some of the new blocks and additions that they will be adding to the game. Like the Deep Dark, an area far below the stone layer in which it takes only the bravest of players to reach. In this new horrifying area is a new block called the Skulk Shrieker, a block that can be activated based on sound. Once a player makes a sound to trigger the Shrieker, it'll let out an ominous screech and it will completely blind the player with the new darkness effect, which engulfs the entire screen with darkness. And it's not like blindness. No, this is far more scary. And if triggered enough, will awaken the Warden from its oh-so-heavy slumber, and you will not enjoy its company. <gasps> oh, thank god it was just a dream. Uh, anyways, do you think Minecraft is as horrifying as it seems, or am I just the biggest baby to exist? Leave your comments down below and I'll be sure to give them a read. Thank you to this month's patrons for supporting me, and if you'd like to have your name along here with some other cool perks, you can head over to my Patreon and support me directly. Thanks for watching, bye!